The ice giant has finally arrived. It only took just about, hmm, 11 months to get. We'll be right back. Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we finally have the Ice Giant, the Pro Siphon Elite Cooler for the Threadripper, Intel, AM4, whatever you want. This, my friends, is the answer to your water cooling dilemma. Yes, I know the tubing is cool and you, and you can put some awesome colors in it. It looks really sick. However, if you spring a leak, you're SOL and you're fucked. So, this, my friends, is the answer. It comes equipped, equipped with two fans that are actually pulling. So it pulls air in this direction and out. It does come with two additional fans. Here there are two additional fans. So if you want to do a push-pull configuration, comes with all the hardware, everything that you need. And we're going to install this now, and we're going to re replace the Arctic Freezer 50 Threadripper TR, the TR50 Freezer, or the Freezer 50 TR. This is the new and improved. You can see how much thinner it is, minus the fans. This is really, really thin, and uses a special technology. It's almost like refrigerant within itself, and that is why this is so impressive for cooling capability. Um... <clears throat> It has, has the ability to connect all four fans together onto one CPU header. And we're going to do the installation now. So we're going to, take, we're going to shut down that, my PC, which is the 3960X Threadripper. We're going to take that. I already did an installation of the current cooler that's in there. We're going to take that one off and replace it with this bad boy. I'm looking extremely forward to it. Let's get to it. Okay, so this bracket gets installed this way. Notice there's two thicknesses. This is a little bit thicker than this. And look at the screw holes where they got to go. So we're going to install it just like this into the system. So we're going to take note of these. This Notice that there's a it's, it's large opening. And then we have like a little nipple here. So this has to go over the screw openings like so. Well, don't do that. <laughs> like so. And then this falls into place on those nipples. It should fall into place automatically. Let's see if they do. That fell into place. That fell into place. Looks like it all did. Okay. Perfect. So now we actually can actually screw it in without any problems. And then we're going to crank down on them. I just want to make sure that they're in. We don't have to worry about it falling off. We can install this properly. The best part about this cooler for AMD is that you don't have to take the whole motherboard out or mount any brackets on the back unless you have an opening in the back and then you're good. But if you don't, you got to take the whole motherboard out to place it. But motherboards today usually have the opening in the back. Just an FYI, make sure that you remove this before adding any thermal paste. Okay, so from the looks of it, I can't install the other two fans unless I take out the Supreme X 3090. Because I can't get to... The screws, when this goes in like so to screw down, I won't be able to get to the screws to screw this down because the fans will be in the way. So I have to mount it first, then add the other two fans to the to the side to the to, to this side, the underside. Technically, it'll be the underside because when I flip this thing, this is going to be facing up. So I can't do that. <laughs> so I have to do it this way first, then the other. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Y adapter for future proofing myself. So if I wanted to add the other two fans, I can. So this is going to go directly into the CPU header right here. 
first. Only because when you stick the siphon on, it'll be covering this. And you won't be able to get to it. So that's why we're doing that now. So this is the thermal paste that comes with it. Thermal Grizzly. But we're not going to use this. We're going to be using Nashua Thermal Paste. The NTH2 for this project. So everybody applies thermal paste differently. So in theory, I should have came down a little bit long, wider here. So it's going to add a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let's make sure that there's nothing in the way. And this will go right there. Screw this all the way down, but make sure you don't A little bear it wasn't grabbing that's all the way down it's all the way down so she now she's in very very good now we can't forget to plug in the fans we're gonna move them over here to the side so we can actually get to them I like the open area here I like this it's actually nice. I wouldn't mind adding the other the other two like this. So it is push pull. So we would have to install it like like this blowing back like so. In theory I could probably get away with just adding two screws. But um we're going to do it the right way. And I would have to remove the video card and that'd be it'll be it wouldn't be so hard because now since this is thinner, I can actually get to the to the actual release mechanism to actually pop the video card out so it wouldn't be so bad. But first we're gonna try it with just default with two fans. We'll see how it goes. She lives. Seems to be working well. We'll find out the temps shortly. Now we're going to do a test of the Siphon Elite, the Ice Giant Sy Siphon Elite. We're going to give this a shot. Now, she's installed. <clears throat> Current CPU temperature is 45C, 44C, 111 degrees Fahrenheit. It's dropping because I literally just ran it. So we're going to run this again, and we're going to see what temperature it is. This goes pretty quickly, so we'll see how quick. CPU 72C, 69, 70, 70C, just about done, <laughs> 70C was steady at, and we're finished, 13,125, so really can't really push this CPU all that hard. Strangely, if you look, if you watch this, <clears throat> it doesn't even go full bore. We'll try this one more time. Sixty-seven, sixty-nine, seventy-one, seventy. C. I'm impressed. That's cool <laughs> literally small pun that's pretty amazing uh the pro siphon elite is going to get the joe tech tips it's an awesome rating that's uh fantastic 70 c 71 c under load are you freaking kidding me <laughs> that, that is unbelievable unbelievable <clears throat> and we're dropping down now you can see how quick it's dropping down um Okay, oh, this that's unbelievably incredible. Let's try that one more time. So let's see. Seventy-one C, instant jump. 
70 C. So it looks like we're staying in the 70, 71 C range. And that's all it's going. And we're not even running full bore. We're just running at 4 gigahertz, just over 4 gigahertz, which is interesting. Very good. Very impressive. Holy crap. Let's go to the conclusion. So the Pro Siphon Elite is an impressive piece of hardware. I did order it back in June of 2020. I actually know. I... <laughs> I ordered this back in April of 2020. It took almost a year to get. So I ordered it just as the pandemic hit. So it took a long time for the manufacturing to happen. A lot of mistakes happened. Um, a couple of welds were not holding and the, and the manufacturing process pretty much got all screwed up. I've been communicating back and forth with the manufacturer trying to find out where it is. I did order a t-shirt worth it. Hopefully that comes, but they just sent this out as soon as I can so I can get it and finally install it and do a review on it. I will have a link in the description below to purchase it at the manufacturer's website, but I can't promise anything because, or they can't really promise anything because it actually took way over just about a year to get. We're February. I ordered in April. That's crazy. I'm very impressed. So on full load, it averages around 70 C. We ran the test a couple of times. I mean, Cinebench is a great test, but it, it boogies on my computer, so it doesn't really stay running for all that long. Uh, I would have to game, but the gaming doesn't really push the CPU all that much. So that said, I'm going to give this to Joe Tech Tips and an awesome rating, obviously, because it stays at 70C. That's unheard of, unless you have water cooling. Um, I, I love it. It's great. So, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.